Hello. Hi, all. I'm coming to you with my quick version of the hashtag diamond painting pen stash. I did start off early in my diamond painting career with a penchant for buying diamond painting acrylic pens. The main reason why they were a must for me is because right here in my wrist and in my hands, I suffered from arthritis. And so holding the thin pen that came with so many of our diamond paintings uh, early on from like my second uh, diamond painting gave me so much discomfort. I used to stretch my hands. It delayed how often I could diamond paint. So I readily went looking for um, additional squishies and I would have my squishies lined up alongside the entire pen and it did add some added comfort because it fattened the pens. Yay! But with that said, I noticed that I still had to have something. I don't know what brought my attention to it, but I was online one day and I found a pen. It was a fat acrylic pen and I just had to have it. Yes, I just had to have it. Um, when I held it in my hand, oh, it felt so good. It definitely did. And I bought the one that came in. The color was so beautiful. It was so vibrant that I had to have another one. And the reason I had to have another one is because I wanted to suit my mood, of course. I forget what this one is called. Um, Sunset Avenue, I think it is. Um, but this one right here, because green is my favorite color, was a must-have. And this is Bourbon Street. And yes, the colors, it does put you in the frame of mind that it's February, and you're in New Orleans, and you're walking down Bourbon Street. <laughs> so this was a must-have because I wanted to fit my mood when I'm feisty and I'm feeling a little bit just antsy. And I'm enjoying the painting that I'm in. It's bringing me, eh, you know, fun thoughts and things. Maybe taking me a little too far back in time um, with the memories. But I saw this and I thought, oh, look at that. It's such a gorgeous hue of green. I had to have it. So moving on from there, I started to really enjoy the feel of uh, the acrylic pens. Once I used them for a while, they would uh, warm up, if you will. So having a choice of uh, pens so that I could, you know, cool, they could cool down, it was uh, amazing. So this was my next option. And I really started to enjoy the bumps in them. I would always put a single placer on one end, and I did start off trying to use the three placer. Um, the three placer came automatically with most uh, pens and because they came you know with a lot of like diamond painting packages and stuff it is the first one that you really try to get used to handling but the two bump just really did offer a lot of comfort especially when you switch out and you get a new fresh cool pen the colors are amazing and you really can change them up similar to how you change up your wardrobe they can go with your mood make you happier go with a down mood go with a busy mindset here's a pen it's a little bit different on the traditional design uh, this is a straight with a bump so as you can see this one right here it kind of just goes straight down little fatness around here and then it just goes down it's only one bump in here and that's at the top still very comfortable um, obviously if you're flipping real quick to um, you know multi-place and things um, I did I never really started off to, uh, single plucking too much I've always multi placed but as you can see I do flip there have been times when I might put a three or four placer on one end and a seven or ten placer on the other end. The reasoning for the single placer mostly for me is if, um, you know, I misplace a diamond and I want to move it out of the way. Um, but as you can see, some of the colors are just so beautiful, so award winning. Here's one for my camo when I'm feeling just a little, 
you know, want to just put on, you know, anything, throw it on. This goes with everything. And I'm ready to just <laughs> walk. This was well before uh, the pandemic. But this is my little camouflage. It has a little hue of green, brown. Um, and so it does remind me of when you throw on camel pants. They go with everything. A camel jacket, it goes with everything. Um, jean, denim, you know, <laughs> plain. So um, that's what this puts me in reference of. But um, again, pretty colors. Love the green, um, olive green, a light olive green. That's kind of flashing through. This also has two bumps. I was in love with two bumps for a while. <laughs> Moving over from there, one the little color. This pin right here, you guys will probably see a lot of. I actually have two in two different styles. The two bump, you know, it has definitely become a favorite for me. I do, you know, like to just have the little uh, groove um, somewhere to kind of put my finger in. Does give me somewhere for my thumb to rest, um, especially when I'm diamond painting. I don't pluck straight down like this. I do pluck, you know, as if I'm writing. It just feels better for my wrist. So this, I forget the name of these. I, I did, I wasn't big on the names, just the colors and stuff. Um, before I even knew it, I ordered this. I saw this, this is a spindle. And so I was starting to notice that a lot of the diamond painting um, turners, uh, the pin turners, they were starting to get a lot more flair and dramatic. Um, so I really did like this middle spindle with a bump on uh, a divot and a bump on each side. Um, this one has a straightener on it. This became, because of this spindle in the middle, it became like just a go-to for me to real quickly look at and grab when I wanted to use the straightener. I do usually find myself using the straighteners more on rounds. I don't have a lot of rounds, um, but because they can look off, you know, I find myself using them a little bit more when I use um, when I'm diamond painting with a round. Kind of moving over from there, back to the two bump. Woohoo! This is a camouflage as well. Obviously, they call it a pink camo. Um, although pink is not the newest color in there, it's a red, a pink, a white, and a black. Definitely a gorgeous color tone, um, but this blank was known as a pink camo. Um, back to the two bump though. Woohoo! Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so I'm trying to stack those off to the side. Um, here is a pink uh, candy stripe. Um, it's a thinner two bump. Uh, it really is really thin and in, in regards to like the bump doesn't feel deep. Um, so I don't find myself using this as much. It was gorgeous online when I looked at it to order it beautiful but as far as grabbing it i think i definitely appreciate just a deeper divot i like to feel the actual bump in itself when i'm using um my acrylics moving over from there one of my fun pins this is definitely a pin for a round as you can see there's no single pluck on this at all this is definitely for multi um, just continuous. It's probably um, one of my happier pins, uh, hence the name Happy Trails. But I would use this mostly for color blocking. So it's a three placer and a four placer. I usually um, now probably have like a four and a seven, but I'm color blocking and I'm just, you know, flipping in so you'll see me doing what I call a windmill and things I probably if these were bigger I probably would be able to imitate when I used to be a majorette <laughs> um, but flipping them around kind of keeping on that same just uh, bright I got this pen all of these came from pretty much the same um, turner um, these were all Sadie's hand turned diamond painting pens. Um, I got this one from Jim's diamond painting pen. Um, I really just fell in love with the color. 
It's not as thin as um, the candy stripe one. It's not as thin, but again, it's still, it doesn't have as deep a uh, divot in, in between the bumps either. So it's, um, it's gorgeous though. I find myself wanting to look at this one more than um, using it, but four place and a single, definitely good for uh, any painting confetti or not um yeah so moving over from there um the next one that i got was um blue pineapple blue pineapple ended up being one of my favorite pens i think i got this in 2019 it ended up being one of my favorite pens of 2019 um definitely enjoyed it if you look at the flex I love how it blends from yellow, you can see a little hue of green, into the blue. Um, and it's called Blue Pineapple. So I'm thinking that because of the outer skin, it looks like, you know, the pineapple. Um, and then it's blue. <laughs> oh, I didn't name it, but yeah, definitely enjoy this. It's gorgeous and it, they render so much better when you receive them than they do online. So Blue Pineapple was definitely one of my favorites. There was a point where uh, smaller pins started to become, you know, I, I would see them and like, oh. So this right here was a small pin. It was, um, I forget, it, it, it is one divot. It's, you know, I definitely find that these are easier to travel with. And they also feel that if I'm diamond painting a little bit closer to me, um, if, if it's a large painting, I do prefer to use my smaller pens um, because they're closer to me. Whereas if I'm diamond painting further away, it's easier for me to use one of my taller pens. So these little um, pocket pals, I guess is the best way to determine or contact, call them. Uh, the little pocket pals are really a lot of fun. They're cute, but I definitely use them for the uh, rim of the painting that's closest to me. As I work further away or I pull it, um, once I'm moving up, I do move over to one of my bigger pens. Yes. So continuing on from there, I do have a, a quite a few little pocket piles. Again, I use these to change my mood up similar to changing up my wardrobe. Here's my little Halloween pocket pal. It's a lot of fun. Yes, there's a hole on each end and they just feel great. They feel great. You can multi-place with them. I do prefer to multi-place with larger ones, but if I'm doing confetti, like if I'm doing landscaping, flowers, bushes and things, and it's switching up because perhaps there's, you know, weeds and different colors. These are definitely really great. Um, I really do enjoy, um, like I said, working with the detail closer to me. Another uh, take on a straight um, with a small bump. So these are great also. Love them, love them. Again, they just, they just feel great. I do prefer them a little thick, but all of them are thicker than the regular pens and they just feel good in the hand. This one I have, it's a mini placer. I do find myself, I mean a mini uh, straightener. I do find myself using this straightener more than any other. Um, it has a spindle in the middle and it just makes for a lot more control. Because that straightener is smaller than the other one, it enables me to really be able to go in um, to small spaces and I use this one with squares. So if I need to straighten and break up a place, if it looks like, unfortunately, which happens a lot with squares, um, <laughs> three rows in, you know, instead of seven <laughs> squares in that, it looks like there was a square missing or something. It just, it that area needs to be straightened up a little bit, making sure that they align with each other and it's easier to kind of go in with this. Again, the spindle piece in the middle, it just allows for a little bit more control because it's not as smooth as um, these middle pieces right here. These are really smooth. So, you know, my fingers slipping over it and the control does come from using the spindle. It's just a little bit more control, a little more grip, I guess, is the best way to say it. 
Continuing over from there, this right here, gorgeous pen. I'm sure you guys have seen this, all glass, acrylic pen. Um, this one right here was a gift. I got this in my blessing box, um, which is so much fun when we went to the diamond painting retreat. As you guys know, um, my box came from Billy, and this was one of the items that he contributed. And I was like, oh, wow, I got a pen. So, yeah. Um, definitely love, I think, um, it, he put it in the box and gave it to me because he already had this exact one. And I believe he told us where he got his, I think he said Jim's handmade diamond painting pens. I apologize if that is inaccurate, but I definitely know he'd already had one as well. So, and I'm quite sure that a lot of people have seen some of these. Um, let's see. Woohoo! One of my newer pens. This is my second to newest uh, pen. This came from Red. You guys know her from the Patriotic team. Um, she made this custom made. She took my favorite color. She had come up with, you know, an idea. She ordered the blank. This is called uh, Shamrock. And she sent it out to me. Um, she gave me my divot. As you can see, I have a spindle. I have two bumps on here. It's really fun. Um, this was my go-to. You guys have probably saw me use this, um, all of November, all of December, um, coming into earlier, uh, into January. So this has been my go-to pen since I got it because it's my favorite color. I love green and this definitely is amazing. I have another pen I got for Christmas. I love this pen. I love it. And you guys, I probably will not just be using it at Christmas, but I hope you guys like it. It is the, this came from Rachel Ray. She got it from Elizabeth Vinsley. This is Enablers Outpost. Look how thick it is. And again, as you guys can see, what you see is one of my favorite. It definitely has uh, that spindle feature in the middle. Um, again, it just makes it easier to grip. Makes gripping a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I do love it. Look at that green. And yes, that is glitter. So it sparkles. It sparkles. But when I tell you the grip on it, oh, it feels so good in the hand. It feels really good in the hand flipping, flipping. So again, something like this, because of the control on it, I would use when I'm diamond painting further away. See? So it'd be easier, easier, easier when I'm diamond painting further away. And that's why I have the distinction and the option to be able to use a pen, you know, further away and a smaller pen. A special made pen that you guys have seen me using. Um, I'm using it because... It's uh, coming up on Valentine's, and my buddy Man Bun had this special made for me. Oh, yes. So, here's the kicker. He had one made identical uh, for himself as well, and these are supposed to be twinsy pins. Um, this is his favorite color, but I have it. And his is green with all the embellishments, and it's my favorite color. I'm still trying to figure out why we have each other's pen. Uh, you're watching this this video, man bun. You could maybe explain that because I really want the green pen. I mean, I, I'm going to use this. Um, you guys have seen me use this, but, you know, I didn't understand that. Cool, 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 cool. Moving over from there. <laughs> you guys have seen this pen. This was my pen of 2020. This was a gift. Um, it was a surprise gift and it was the combination of some awesomeness that I had saw on, um, Sadie's hand turned, uh, pins. So I started to really enjoy that middle spindle. And then these two round humps, I started seeing them and she was putting them in a few of her pins and things. She was putting hearts and scepter pieces and things like that. And, uh, as you guys can see, the, um, pearl essence rain, rainbow <laughs> effect, it's like a pastel rainbow on a pen. It was a color that I, I saw and I kept saying, oh, I want that. And you could like pick the design that you like the most and things. Um, anyway, somebody got the pen 
and they purchased it and they sent it to me um, anonymous. So I do appreciate whoever it was. I really do appreciate it. It was a great gift. I wanted it. We had posted up um, our favorite, um, you know, uh, an album on the page and everyone could put their favorites in there. So the person that purchased it for me got that from there. I really appreciate it. It was definitely my, you know, probably my most used pen of 2020. Moving over from there, Unicorn Poop. This is the newest pen to my collection, um, you know, that came from uh, Pen Turner. This pen was one, and I really do love it. The reason why I was so shocked um, is because I started to look at it. Obviously, I've been crafting and I've been trying to make my own pens. And so I was like, this is cute. Um, you know, I wonder if I could do something like this. I do have my own um, pens that I've made and kept on my own. And so I'm going to show you. This was my first foray into pen making. It was after I first took my clay class. And there were some people who were, they wanted to try my pen out. And God bless you guys because the pens, they came out okay. But they weren't awesome. <laughs> and so this was my first foray. I used the wrong type of varnish to set. And it burbled up. It got real sticky. But I wanted this pen, so I worked with it. I <laughs> I scraped it all off. I re-sanded it down. I let it sit, and I rebaked it. And then I just put one coat of varnish on. So, I mean, it was fixable. It was a lot of work. But um, I didn't want to recoat it and, you know, buff it all out. I want to remember that effort that I put in to salvaging this pen. If you were one of the ones who got from me the first batch, I made right. <laughs> and I resent you guys out pens. So hopefully you guys enjoyed those. These came from, if you guys were watching my clay tutorial, I tried my best. <laughs> but I really pulled it out and I salvaged the pen. These are the pens that I made. I did have enough cane to make quite a few of those. I was working with Crashly that night. Um, and it came out nice. Again, this was fun. I still, to this day, I'm shocked that I was able to pull it out because <laughs> I had that cane in 82 different directions. One of my next, uh, adventures was, uh, just trying to come up with colors and kind of throw them into, um, again, these are all clay pens. They're all, you know, my own insight, my own thought process and things. So I was just trying to come up with, you know, as I practice and things of that nature. Here are my, um, I still haven't, you know, uh, sealed these, but these are definitely, you know, having a little bit of fun with uh, color canes and things like that. Just kind of, you know, piecing them together, weighing out thicknesses and what color pieces, um, they make, you know, just the best color combinations. I really do like these drops of color. Um, they look really good in a pen. I haven't sanded them down and varnished them, but these are definitely fun pieces. Next few items that I have, I wanted to work with thickness, as I said. So one of the things I started to do was to thicken the pens up. Um, they feel better in the hand. Um, and when it comes to diamond painting, you don't have that stress in your wrist. You don't have the stress in your fingers. So yeah, these are fun jaunts. They will be sanded down and they will be options as well. One of the best ideas that I had when I won this pen, I think it was Deanne Hilgenbrink. Um, I can't remember specific, but I apologize if I'm using the wrong person. Ask me if I could make something like this. So I said, I'm going to give it a try. And what I came up with, boom, first out the gate. Um, this is Galaxy Glitter. It's a little translucent in there. If you guys will notice, I have the divot. The pen is thick, and it's just waiting on tips. It hasn't been sanded or um, because I wanted to give it a try. 
but I do like it. My second option, I wanted to kind of thin it out a little bit, but yes, I definitely said I can see this. Yes, I gave it the little divot. It's fun. Boom. Just put the tips on the end, obviously gloss it up, and you have a pen. Now, you know, the pens are a lot thicker than what I want, but I'm still excited. And then my last foray, I couldn't help it, but I think that this was my masterpiece. This came out so awesome. Once this is glossed up and sanded down, yes, I did this piece all by myself. Um, I created the cane, I laid it over, and I'm hoping that this one, this is definitely the piece, the resistance. Um, you guys will see, I not only did this in a cane, but I have earrings and things like that coming. I will show you the cane that I created, just so people know that this was my design. And here's the cane that I created. Yes, I did have to do a lot of sculpting, but it is there. I am excited. And so I hope that you guys enjoy my new uh, foray into pins and pen making. I hope you guys enjoy the designs. Once these are all glossed up, I'll show them again or see them on my live. And perhaps you'll want to get some because I certainly don't want to collect all of them and have them just sitting around here. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed my collection as much as I enjoy having them. Um, they are a ton of fun. And I do find myself you know, just I couldn't pick a complete favorite. You guys probably see me using these the most. Um, you, you probably see me using these two the most. Um, and yeah, rightfully so, because they have their own version of a spindle. Um, you probably see me using this one over the last couple of weeks. Again, Valentine's is coming, and that was supposed to be a tribute to Valentine's. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you guys stay tuned because these were really fun. Um, these uh, two, two bump, uh, <laughs> my own version of two bump uh, the ceramic, uh, not ceramic, uh, clay pins. And again, I hope that you guys want to join me and pick up a couple because, I mean, I want to make some money back on these. <laughs> you guys have a good evening, and thank you for joining as I showed you my pin collection. Have a good day.